Uh, so we uh, conducted a, um, a long-term project work in, in uh, design one, as we call it, which is uh, engineering design, the, the first of three uh, this semester, where uh, <clears throat> uh, normally students would build a device in the workshop. Um, that not being possible, uh, students were asked to prove their concept, essentially, with some basic testing. Um, and, and proof that uh, it meets the requirements that they themselves set out. That necessitated prototyping in the home with, um, we had groups do Lego builds. We had groups do Lego builds, which then um, graduated to uh, cardboard construction and then graduated to MDF or, or wooden construction and things like that. Um, cutting up plastic tubs and, and whatever, it, whatever it might be. We got some uh, blue water going here, so you can see it. It's coming through some little sprayer sprinklers. Uh, it's too thin to see, but actually, it's creating a thin mist. You can see it collecting on my hand with the blue. A thin mist from one, two, three, four. One hole is made in the container lid and two in the can with a sharp knife. The primer is mounted in the can and hose is connected to the inlet and outlet. The whole lid is screwed on after the container is filled and the jam jar lid is attached to the primer bulb. Optional wire can be wrapped around the tube tip to form it down and this tube can be placed anywhere around the house like a sink or wall. The other thing that we offer for students who took on more complex designs initially is uh, the service where we had some professional staff able to uh, attend our workshops uh, and they were given, we, were, we requested a, basically a, an initial concept from the students, worked with them to develop that concept um, build it and then provide them a video detailing what our staff did with uh, guidance on which tools that were used, processes and order of processes, and uh, as well as a bit of a feedback on how the function uh, works before sending those devices out. The most important thing for this is finding a way to fix the foot pedal relative to the dispenser so that we don't have issues as the foot pedal moves around and the tension on the line changes. But overall, this is a simple and effective way for improving the quality of your sanitizing your hands uh, and keeping sort of your hands and arms away from those danger zones. So good job, Team 3. So while it's not 100% the same as working with advanced tools uh, with their own hands, they still get some exposure to how are you going to get things to work? How are you going to get them to fit together? and what are the processes I need to follow to, to, uh, to build my device. And also that additional service of, okay, here's how you might be doing it uh, with a reasonable amount of skill in our student workshops with a, a lot of detail, minute, like, you know, dozens of minutes of, of feedback, if not hours of feedback on, on how that process went.